You know, in manufacturing and engineering in general, energy is everything. Alternate, clean forms of energy from photovoltaic to nuclear fusion are under extensive development worldwide, but there's a new player on the scene that promises almost unbelievable energy density. Now, Cranberry, New Jersey-based Brilliant Light Power Incorporated has announced that the firm has continuously generated over 1 million watts of power from a new primary source, power which actually eventually vaporized their test apparatus. According to the company, the power is released by the conversion of hydrogen atoms from water molecules by lowering the hydrogen nuclei's orbiting electron into lower energy levels, producing something called a hydrino. Now, it's a well-known phenomenon that electrons in excited energy states emit a photon as they drop to levels closer to the ground state. And in this process, the electron emits a brilliant plasma with much of the output in the extreme ultraviolet. Now, the alternate energy community is intensely interested in energy gain, and that is power out versus power in. In the case of this technology, Brilliant Light Power's sun cell is reported to generate over 100 times the power required to ignite the hydrino reaction. Now, Brilliant has stated that the megawatt level output, operating at power densities higher than any previously known energy source, has been measured using four independent methodologies with good agreement. Now, the company held an invitation-only demonstration on June 28, which included an engineered prototype with no moving parts that the firm believes is capable of producing 125 kilowatts of electricity. Now, field trials are anticipated for 2017. To prevent the cell from vaporizing, it's made from refractory materials inside which the unit heats a black body radiator to incandescent temperatures, making it in essence an ultra-hot light bulb. Light is converted to electricity with concentrator photovoltaic cells. But what are these neutrinos? According to Brilliant Light Power, they're a different form of hydrogen and are in fact the dark matter that is believed to form the bulk of all matter in the universe. Now, I'm no physicist, but the process involves known technologies including a molten metal catalyst and a photovoltaic panel to convert the light into current. Now it seems fantastic, and we've all seen all manner of radical overunity and fusion power projects, but this is the first I've seen that has gone to the testing stage with a practical device using realistic hardware. Now, frankly, I'm skeptical of any technology that claims it can create clean, abundant, megawatt-level power from something the size of my desk, but we're not going to criticize anybody prepared to back up their claims with verifiable testing. We'll follow Brilliant's progress and we'll report back. If they're for real, everything in the energy manufacturing industry changes. Let's see what happens.